Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. The last time I saw you like this, I was getting ready for a crazy holiday weekend. It was so busy, so much fun. We ate great food, drank great cocktails, stayed out too late, didn't get enough sleep, and sure enough, I'm now paying for it on my face. So I just arrived at Intro Lift Medical Spa. I'm about to go inside and have a hydrofacial. This week, I am preparing for the holidays. Christmas is one week away, it's hard to believe, and we're traveling to Pittsburgh. So I'll be packing, getting everything ready, and I'm going to share my entire travel beauty routine with you guys. I just left Intro Lift. I had my aqua facial. My skin feels like it is glowing. They did an extraction, so it's a little bit sensitive, a little bit red right now, but I know the results are going to be amazing going into Christmas next week when it's gonna be so crazy and hectic, so much stress. My skin really needed that facial. This is the location for today's shoot. Getting some content with Dr. Brandt. They have some of the best skincare, some of my favorite products. This microdermabrasion is a new favorite of mine. It's amazing. Today is going to be a lot of fun because I can show you all of the behind the scenes action for today's photo shoot. Cindy on the ground. Help me now, Rebecca. Can you? Those are good. Yeah. Okay. I really like this one. Love it. Yeah. Oh my god, that's amazing. All right, tutorials. Yes. Quick ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, my name is Erin Nicole and I'm going to show you my four favorite products from Dr. Brand's skincare. Okay, and now let's go inside. Look what just arrived, the J. Crew earrings that I ordered what feels like two weeks ago. It was probably only a week. These are even more beautiful in person. I'm so happy I got these. I want to say they were like less than $20, maybe somewhere around $20. And then I got another similar pair of these from the J. Crew factory, but I saw these that had the spread out pearls and I thought these would be really pretty as well. Those were also about $20. But these, I might have to bring these with me. I think they would be perfect for 
maybe Christmas Eve, Christmas, if we do anything fun. For hair care, I've been using the Lucetta Perfect Bonding Set at home for the past six weeks now. I really don't wanna use anything else while I'm traveling, so I went to Walgreens and I picked up these two little bottles. I'll fill one with shampoo, one with conditioner, and then I have a little jar that I will use for the leave-in conditioner. This is the perfect set for colored hair. The shampoo is infused with quinoa seed extract, so if your hair is chemically damaged from coloring, this helps to strengthen the hair and you leave it on for two to three minutes. So step two is gonna detangle, soften the hair. It's not too heavy, so you can still use this from root to end and you don't have to worry about it weighing down your hair. When I get out of the shower, I towel dry my hair and then I apply between a dime and a quarter size amount from mid shaft down. Especially if you have color treated hair like mine, a heat protector is so important. It's probably the most crucial step when it comes to styling. So a leave-in conditioner that's going to help protect against UV rays, environmental damage, hot tools when you're styling your hair, straightening or curling it is really important. It helps to restore moisture, lock it in, so it's gonna help with the split ends and your hair just looks healthier and smoother. My hair doesn't look healthy or smooth right now because it's very humid and I just had to walk jazzy in the rain, but usually it feels really soft and smooth for longer. This perfect bonding set was sent to me complimentary to review and I love it because it is specifically made for colored hair and damaged hair. They were generous enough to give me a coupon code for 15% off, so I will link all of the information and in all of these products that I've been using down below in the description box in case you're interested. Now I'm packing the rest of my cosmetics and toiletries. I picked up this cute bag from the Maison 24 pop-up boutique in Miami. It looks like it's filled with pink glitter but it's not and it's actually perfect for traveling with liquids. So inside this little bag, I'm gonna put some essentials, makeup wipes, toothbrush, toothpaste. I'm also going to keep my skincare in here. I'm taking these little clay de peau minis. These were really amazing when I was in New York. This little skincare set kept my skin so hydrated in the dry climate, which my skin is not used to. And then I'm also going to pack the House of Siage Whispers of Admiration Travel Fragrance. This is a new favorite of mine. I think this might be my favorite house of Siage fragrance. I love Whispers of Truth, but the Whispers of Admiration is so delicious and really yummy. So this is going to be my fragrance for Christmas. This is why I always hold on to those deluxe samples, minis, gifts with purchase. When it comes to traveling, they're very convenient. So I have this tiny little dream skin that I'll take with me. I used this little Tom Ford sample bottle to pump some of my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I almost stepped on that already. That was kind of scary. I have this Lancome Concealer, Mini Hourglass Powder, a tiny little Bobbi Brown Blush, this tiny little deodorant, how cute is this? The Marc Jacobs Mascara. The only full-size item I have so far is the Bronze and Highlight from Charlotte Tilbury. This is our current weather situation outside, a mild 76 degrees, and this is what we're going to. So here I am stockpiling my sweaters, I'm organizing all of my clothes right now in piles, and then I'm about to pack everything in my new rose gold suitcase.
good thing about traveling to Pittsburgh is that we're staying at our family home so we have access to laundry and the mall we can always go pick up anything that we need if we forget something I'm going to wear this black coat it's really comfortable it's gonna be hot here but I'm gonna wear this black coat to the airport along with my black boots simply because they're they'll take up too much space in the suitcase so these I will wear to the airport this is going to be my travel bag I love this bag it's this giant tote it is so beautiful I got this in New Orleans it's Reagan Charleston I don't know if she still makes these but this is one of the best tote bags and then I also have this hat from lack of color I may take this with me it's this really cute felt hat it's a little bit big so I ordered some hat tape with the exception of a few last minute things that I need to add, my bags are completely packed. I am ready to go. So we are taking off first thing tomorrow morning. The last bag I need to pack is Jazzy's. So I'm about to get on that right now. But I hope everybody has a fabulous holiday, whether you're traveling or not. I hope you get to spend some time with family, eat a lot of great food, and just relax and enjoy the time because that's really what the holidays are about. Which reminds me, I need to wrap some Christmas gifts. That's the last thing I have to do. Once again, I want to thank you all so much for hanging out with me this week, tagging along for my errands, seeing all the little adventures that I get up to when I'm not sitting in this room exclusively talking about beauty. It's been a lot of fun, and now I've got to run.